a beautiful Dior unboxing. Ta-da! And this was a treasure hunt. A complete treasure hunt. And, oh my goodness. So I've already unboxed it with the beautiful little ribbon. But I wanted to share this with you dolls because this took a lot out of me. Truthfully, it did. So let's begin with a little story time of how I found this item. This was actually from a couple seasons ago, last year to be specific. And I seen this and I couldn't get it out of my head. I loved it with my whole heart my whole fashion heart i loved it and i really really longed for this piece and i showed it to my husband and he seen it and he was just like you can do without it and he basically just told me i didn't need it he feels like it wasn't really worth it and that i could spend his hard-earned money someplace else make it go further so like a good wife who was also naive I listened to him and I parted ways with this item it was just always in the back of my head he told me that I could live without it and he was right I could live without it but I was living a lot less fabulously without it my outfits looked a lot less darling without it this is an accessory so I already had my outfits picked out. I already had it in my mood board and everything. And oh my goodness, I just wanted it so badly. And I was going through, you know, my fall mood board from last year. What am I going to be wearing this next season? And I seen this I, and I remembered it. I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if they still have it, which I knew that they wouldn't. And this item is nowhere to be found. It does have, it is online, but it's for like a $500 more than the original asking price. So, and it was like kind of on a website that I wasn't too sure about. But then I seen they had this item, finally found it. It was in a different color, but it was the exact item. And it was actually for like 40% off. Brand new with the box and everything so i thought oh my goodness the one who got away came back to me it's fate we met i know i'm being dramatic but why wouldn't i be so i was so excited i went ahead and i ordered it i didn't even tell my husband about it i just let i just let him see the the package and he was wondering about it shaking it i was like you know I'm, I'm going to open it and you'll see what it is so now let's open it dolls got the ribbon and we open it like so wrapped so beautifully with the original packaging um, the original invoice everything so 100% authentic beautiful lovely so now we have it open and what is the item <laughs> I know some of you will look at me like I'm crazy. Why did you want a gray wool beret from Dior so badly? This isn't the money maker. I mean, first of all, this color. I wanted it in black because black is a perfect neutral. But gray also looks good on me. But this isn't the star of the show, okay? We do this. And this is, isn't it the cutest? It has the Dior Oblique on the outside and it's reversible. So yes, you can wear it with a solid gray or you can wear it with the Oblique. And as I was thinking about my wardrobe, reason with me, I was thinking about my wardrobe and I was thinking in the fall and winter season, I always wear black. I always wear a black sweater, a black long skirt a black short skirt i always wear black boots it is just my go-to color scheme for the fall and winter season and so to break out of that i've been wearing a lot more mauvey pinks lavenders but my base is always black i could put on this gray and white dior oblique beret 
and it breaks up the black it adds a lot more interest into my ensemble and this is such a classic piece it's just so darling to me and I find it to be adorable it would just never go out of style I've always adored berets it is my go-to for the fall and winter season so imagine it on me right so why aren't I putting it on is it because I don't want to mess up my hair well dolls the beautiful end to this story right the fact that I waited over a year for this item that got away the one that got away and I finally have it in my hands and it won't fit <gasps> why me <laughs> it won't fit it will not fit my head <laughs> there's no more of this okay not unless I want to pay $500 more for this hat it won't fit me <laughs> my goodness so yeah it doesn't fit me wouldn't it look so cute on me though like you don't have seen me with a beret but there's no stretch here in the band and this is a size 58 centimeters and that's the average hat size and apparently my head is way too big it's just too big it's a sad tale okay that's why we had to talk about this <laughs> because it's a sad sad tale it's a sad day that I finally got what I was looking for and it was never meant to be. But I just wanted to share this with you dolls because I was hoping that you would probably, I was hoping that you would sympathize with me, reason with me, and laugh with me. So I hope that you enjoyed that story. <sighs> so this is going back, unfortunately. I wish I could keep it. I really do wish I could keep it, but the head will not head cannot that's what i think my head would if it could but apparently it's way too big like i i even measured my head but according to my measurements and then the average hat size that i would go for i just thought wait a second like this can't be true like my head isn't that big but apparently it is so at least for these non-stretch wool hats very unfortunate dolls So later on today, I am going to be cooking a delicious dinner, of course, and I do have to do a little bit more cleaning for today. And so along with that, I have been making sure that I'm being more efficient with my cleaning. I'm, I've been staying on schedule, which I've really been enjoying. And as you dolls know, I do enjoy something that makes everything a little bit easier. And I'm so excited because the Yeedy Vacuum Cleaner 2-in-1 was sent to me and they're sponsoring this video. So thank you so much to them. You can actually function it off of your phone by using the app and you're able to really schedule what time that you want the whole entire house to be vacuumed having my robot vacuum cleaner to just vacuum around the house like clockwork every single day has really allowed me to free up a lot more of my time whenever i'm doing other homemaking tasks and i love the fact that you can either let it do auto cleaning or you can make it clean for you at 4 a.m. in the morning or at 10 p.m. once you're already in bed. Something else that's really great about the Yeedy Mop and Vacuum Cleaner, which means that it does double as a mop. It has this really cool feature to where it's able to map your actual house, the layout of your house. So it knows how to go around each and every single corner, around every bump, You're and it's thin enough so it can go underneath coffee tables and lower furniture pieces. So I have just been really enjoying it. So I do have a special discount code if you are interested and in just trying them out. They're on Amazon, so they're very accessible.
morning went back to using my Dior glow booster I have like everything out on my vanity tree which is really different for me because usually I just put out my makeup for the week my perfume for the week or of the day and instead of Instead, I don't know if I can handle this. To me, I find it to be refreshing. Like, am I going to keep it like this all throughout the week? No, because I can barely handle knocking things over like I just did. But I decided to do it like this because it's different. Sorry, my husband's at the store and he just asked me if I need him to meet any needs of mine. So I told him, chocolate chip muffins, please. I love that. <laughs> okay, I just put on a bit of my lip liner. Um, and then just something else that I have been doing that I've been really loving it's going to be a new seasonal tradition of mine and that is attending different high teas every season looking back to when it was my birthday and I went to the Chateau Ilan for a wine tasting and afternoon tea and it was so amazing me and my husband had just such a wonderful time fall spring summer and winter I went to experience high tea at different famous venues here in Atlanta so a couple of them would have to be at the Ritz Carlton I like to go to the Waldorf Astoria to the Whitley and also to some of the more local tea Tea shops here there's one tea shop and it's a tea and also a library and I just think it's so gorgeous and I would love to go there and of course I will vlog it and write reviews of it on my blog and share it with you dolls but that's something that I've been really loving because I think it's so much fun just to plan out these things and you actually enjoy it more than you know. Something that I think is very adorable that I would love to do with my future kids is to go to different little farms every season and make a nice seasonal dessert. So definitely going to an apple orchard, going to a pumpkin patch, strawberry farm, blueberry farm, and just making little yummy treats. I think that would be just so much fun making sure that I'm dedicating time every couple of months whenever the season changes the wind blows the leaves change going to a high tea I think I would enjoy that so so much so I highly encourage you dolls to do the same applying my little blush just a bit more and I lost my blush brush for a second and this is cream blush so it should blend very well what rosy cheeks give me that innocent flush my perfume of course Penhaligon's equinox bloom i love this for the summer season complete <laughs> 